And then you got, I mean, you really did it right. Like you nailed it in a way that I think is hard. <laughs> but I didn't to know do what I was days. doing. <laughs> but you know what it was? You just took it step by step with what you were comfortable with. You never got, you never allowed anybody to push you into what you didn't want to do. Like no. you only did what you were prepared to do. I like, feel like that's you followed what your you heart. should do. Yes. Like 100%. there's no like formula for being a porn star. I think the most important thing is not doing anything on camera that you are not either ready for or do at home. Yes. Because I feel like a lot of girls do that. Like, well, you know, I've been shooting for a year. I guess now I have to take the next step and do anal. Well, I did an anal scene. I guess I have to do DP. Well, and then like suddenly they hate themselves because mm-hmm. they did things they don't want. As opposed to like a girl like like Remy got in the business and she's like, I want to fucking do gangbangs. And that's what she did. And she was happy. Yeah. Like, I feel like whatever you want to do, you should do. It's like, but I feel like a lot of girls tried to, you know, do this. Like, if I do this formula, I'll be really popular and make a bunch of money. And, you know, it, it just backfires because they I don't like it. Yeah. And I think a lot of them get bad advice from their agents. Yeah. Or get pressured into something yeah. or rents due or, yeah. you know, like, uh, yeah, it can get it can get tricky. But I've yeah, I never did anything. I was like, no. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> and you went to boy girl. Yeah. Like, well, when you did your boy girl, you, it was your own showcase. Yeah. Which you did pretty well from. It's and you had a lot of control in that too. The fun, the thing about that is like, um, usually when perform, you know this, like usually when performers do a showcase, they shop around. I don't know what the case is now, but this is like three or four years ago. So they you, they would be like they would shop around. You would go to like mm-hmm. Elegant and Jewels and browsers and digital playground and like you would like go to different companies like who wants to give me the most money for my holes and then Mm -hmm. like every it's like this bidding war and then whoever Mm -hmm. wins you do the showcase and like I didn't want that and at the time like Mason shot my first girl girl showcase which I like found was it was like really meant a lot to me because Mm -hmm. she made me she like gave me that exposure to get to do girl girl so I remember, like, I just showed up at Elegant Angel one day because she was still working with them. And I was like, I want to do Boy Girl, but I want you to shoot it. And there you go. And she's like, what? (laughs) And then, like, she's like, I don't know. You said you don't want to do it. I was like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm ready. I want to do it um, for myself. But, like, I don't know any performers. So, like, we went to 7-Eleven and got Slurpees and watched porn all night. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's amazing yeah in like the elegant angel office after hours we we're sitting there and like watching and i was like that guy's cool like he looks like he has a nice penis i'm like oh god no i don't like the way that guy fucks i'm like oh that guy's hot i'd fuck him like and that's how i decided like who's gonna be in my showcase that's amazing it was yeah it was the i feel like the right way to do it because if someone was just like you're gonna fuck a b c and d i'd be like no yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's so important. A lot of times I like to let the girl choose their male performer because I feel like that makes a big difference. Then yeah. you know there's going to be chemistry there. You've always you've always asked me yeah. who I've wanted to work with. And like usually I've given you like three or four people and you usually get my first two. Yeah, it's usually the same guys that I like working with too anyways. Mm-hmm. Like it's just like there's like, you know, like eight dudes in the industry that just are like the top guys that yeah. everyone likes working with. So it's pretty easy. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.